it's absolutely yeah. perfect, isn't it? It's incredibly robust, the way that it's been constructed. The stone is all different colours, which makes me think it maybe is local stone. It's actually been really carefully considered. You can see that it's the different colour of stone has been used in that really traditional way to pick out the window detail and around the doorway. I would call this a handsome little cottage, don't you think? It's just well put together and sturdy. I can see a pop of pink in there, oh, and yeah. I want to go and check that out. Let's do it. Oh, goodness me, straight way. Straight there. <laughs> Look at this bar top with the heart. That's that is so cool. That's a lot of beer they've drunk to make that. <laughs> That's some surprise this level. <laughs> <laughs> They're really interesting too. They're not all new as well. Some old ones from their travels, Indonesia. I mean, that's a really fun way to kind of display souvenirs. I was actually more immediately attracted to the steel beam. <laughs> it must be the architect in me, obviously, but it's still got the reference number on it, so there hasn't been any attempt to sort of dumb it down or polish it up in any way. Very much, I think, in the character of the home. I'm quite enjoying the really handmade quality of everything. You've got the rough sawn timber there. You've got, you've got your bottle caps. Cable tie light here. Everything kind of has the human touch to it. There's got to be a story behind this. This, what is it? A thing from the top of a petrol pump, isn't it? I bet you can find the pump later on. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this layout of kitchen. I know there's a thing for island units, but I always really rather like kitchens where the space is the priority and there isn't an object in it. Although it doesn't have an island unit, it's got this peninsula which does serve a similar function. People can sit at the bar the other side and not get in your way, Michael, when you're spatchcocking a chicken. And I think that's a really cost-effective decision, slapping some paint on these tiles just to freshen it up. <laughs> I love that. Jeans wrapped around an ottoman that creates a pocket for your remote. Love that. I am getting the most amazing perspective from the garden here. I mean, it looks vast from up there, but it is just extending beyond from here. It's amazing how different this space is, isn't it? It's so much lighter. We've just come down two steps from the kitchen where it's quite enclosed and dark, and here we've got this amazing connection to the garden. I'm loving the tropical kind of motif on the curtains and I think these people might be accidental interior designers because they've taken that blue colour on the wall, they've carried it through with the fabric helmet, but they've also painted the niche that dark blue which just perfectly frames that view outside, so kudos to them. Oh gosh, flush carpet. <laughs> That's exactly the right move. In these loft spaces, you haven't got a ceiling. People never know where to change from the wall colour to the ceiling colour. The solution is just envelop yourself in one tone. Check out the storage, look. That's great. Oh, that's it? clever. No, I think they've just taken something off the shelf, haven't they? Yes. And built that in. And painted them. And really painted clever. Them, frame it all out, and you don't need to get a custom kind of unit built in there build it in. I always sometimes feel quite comfortable in rooms like this. I do often feel as if they're just not for me, I must admit. But just because of the way it's been designed and the low bed and the sort of the symmetry, I don't know, I'm actually feeling quite comfortable in here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lockdown bar. Oh, I love the sterling board roof. You definitely know you're in a shed. This also comes with that lovely earthy smell, so it definitely bonds us to the garden, doesn't it? I wouldn't have picked a wallpaper like this, but it's loud, it's proud, and I, I really like it. Anything goes. Kind of ties in with the curtains in the main house, as does this teal blue. So although we're very separate from the main home, it's still connected. Oh. I think that's how you get a drink around here. <laughs>